Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival. In the last episode, if you did not watch it, we extended our farm. So now, not only do we have sulfur growing here, but we also have now ant lotus flowers. And we have also moved our ant lilies right over here, which in fact, I believe, is ready to be harvested. Some of them anyway. Yep, pretty much all of them. And this is a perfect opportunity to replant our farm. Almost fully replanted, but very, very good. I will harvest this later because this has to be done with an axe, and we have stuff to do. But not only, but not, but not only did we expand the farm over there, we also built a little bit of a farm over here, and this thing has grown. Hello there. The loom corn has grown. The what are these called again? Glowing pillar leaves. These have grown. These haven't grown yet. They might. I think they have enough space to to grow. I would assume so anyway. And yeah, this thing haven't grown either. But I haven't been out of the world very much since the last episode, so things haven't had a proper chance to start growing. But one thing that has grown, on the other hand, that we need to harvest is the berries. Because we kind of left it on, the, on a little bit of a cliffhanger in the last episode. We also made this very nice looking Petra tree. Well, the tree was here, but we decorated it just a little bit. Also, these celestial growth have not grown on their own, so I think it is time that I can just, yeah, remove those. But here, right over here, we have all of the shadow berry seeds fully grown. And we're gonna harvest this today. In fact, we're gonna harvest this right now. And I am very excited to see how much we're actually gonna get out of this. So after that huge harvest, we got off with six, pretty much six and a half stacks of shadow berries. And then not to mention all of the seeds as well. Now, obviously we need to replant these things and I'm going to do that immediately. But then what we can do with the rest of the seeds is we can put, oh, hey buddy, we can put them into the composter over there and back home and we can get a lot of bone meal out of these guys. And there we go. So after reseeding all of them, we have three, pretty much four stacks of shadow berry seeds left over. I don't know how much bone meal that's gonna be, but every little bit counts. But this is very cool. We are never gonna run out of food again. And the shadow berry seeds, yep, goes right into there. Now, housing those berries were just one of the things on my to-do list today because I believe that we now have enough resources to be able to finally craft the thing that I've been wanting to craft since the very early days of this series, and that is the respawn obelisk. So that we can set our spawn point here, and if we die, we spawn back here and not... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, and not back here. So I want to make that today, and I have some of the ingredients in here already. And I'm actually gonna take these because, yeah, I really, really want to make this. So we need three amber blocks in total, which we should have enough raw amber now in order to be able to make. So that is, yeah, I believe that's one. So that's one more amber block. So I need to do this four more times, and then we have the three amber blocks. And I realize that that thing is just a little bit, well, loud. But it's almost done. In fact, it's finished now. And it seems that we have gotten 14 bone meal out of that. I don't think there were any in the chest from before. But I could, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So 14 from one harvest? Not bad at all. Anyways, that is all the different blocks that we need. The next thing that we do need, though, is the eternal crystal, which... We actually do have an end crystal right here. So all I need is four more Aurora crystal shards and four ender shards. All of which I believe, yes, I have it all. So we will go ahead and make this right now. I've never made an eternal crystal before. Uh, so these on the corners and then the crystal shards like so. It's all gonna get infused and we should be left with an intern what do they call it again? Eternal crystal. Any moment now. And there we go. The eternal crystal, or a eternal crystal. 
And now we have pretty much everything that we need in order to make this respawn obelisk, which I'm quite excited about. All right, let's go ahead and make this. This is something that you make very slowly to enjoy every step of the process. Respawn obelisk. Now, where do we place it? I don't feel like over here is very nice. I, I probably need to improve this room a little bit. I feel like over here would be ideal, but we have the armor. And this room is not very symmetrical. In here wouldn't really make sense. I could put it behind here, but I kind of want it in a place where we can see it. So honestly, this place right here, if we remove this lamp, might actually be the best place for it. So I do apologize, crystallite armor, but you're going to have to go to somewhere else. Excuse me. Am I, is my is my mind just completely blank or is that not supposed to like Huh? I was chopping at this thing with an axe and it Okay, you you know what? No qu I no questions. No questions. Better. And now for the big moment, respawn obelisk has been placed. Oh, wow. It's a bit taller than I thought it would be. So I think we just right click this. You need to hold six amber gems to set your spawn point. Oh, I like that. Oh, amber gems. Right. Well, I'm glad that I got so much amber in the last episode because I did not know that you needed six amber crystals in order to set your respawn point. But that is going to be very worth it. If we die, it's going to be so much worth it to spawn back here with all of our resources. Then again, yeah, all the way back here. So here goes. Your spawn point has been set. Very, very cool. And this is just me right clicking it again. So our spawn point should now be set. Awesome. So that is one of the one other objective for this episode that I have finished. Now one thing I have done is that I have actually updated my end survival custom crafting data pack that I have that you can download over on my website if you're interested. Um, but I've added the recipe for a name tag. And this is because I do not believe that we can find name tags in the end and I want to make something that requires this thing. Plus they were just nice to have. So I've added a uh, recipe for it, a string together with some planks. I think that is quite all right. Now the string is going to be a little bit tricky because apparently the only way I can get it is from silk fiber, which apparently moths drop, which are located in, I believe this biome right here. So we're going to have to see how easy that is to do. But another thing I want to do today, the main thing in fact, is that I want to build an enderman farm. Yeah, yeah. A farm for you guys because I need XP so that I can enchant stuff because if we look at the books here Yes, I can actually very very cool actually I can use the infusion pedestal to get books such as a mending book or an unbreaking book or thorns or protection But as I've, as I've just shown click through these I actually can't make these one because the mending requires bottle of enchanting and I don't have access to those unbreaking that is doable, obviously. Thorns, cactus, don't have that. Protection one, definitely don't have access to a turtle shell. So some of these are going to be, well, impossible for us to get. So for that reason, I want to make an endermat farm in this episode, which means I'm going to require some firewood rockets because I think I know how I want to make this so that it actually works. It's gonna be a little bit tricky and I hope my theory works. But I have done this in the past, so I assume it will. <laughs> but I could be very wrong. Basically, what I need to find here on the map is a 5x5 five five chunk area. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is another 5. So 5x5 five five chunk area. And this is very specific. That is the minimum area of empty space that we need in order to build this thing. And I think that this place right here where it's connected to our main island is actually going to work perfectly. So if we go away from that, so one, two, three, and then this would be the center. And there is no land within a five by five uh, chunk radius, which is perfect. So right over here somewhere, we will go 
and check that location out before getting the resources that I need to make this thing. And I didn't have the elytra equipped. You know, getting that crystalline elytra is really gonna be an objective after I get this XP farm. That is actually why I'm making the XP farm, because I want to be able to get mending, well not mending, but unbreaking and protection and whatnot, so I can start wearing that armor. We are gonna fly over there, it should be right... Yeah, right here actually. So right here is where it would be, so it would sit... Yeah, pretty much right here, out there in the in the middle of the void. So, yeah, I think this place is gonna be perfect for it. I will want to make a path, eventually, leading all the way over from maybe this bridge over here that I want to make across here, all the way over. I think that's could I think that could work. So let's get some resources collected. I have a list here on my monitor, and I think one shulker box. Should do it. So let's get to it. Eight torches, eight fences, six trap doors. Then I need the carpet, which I could go ahead and get string for that. But we have access to white wool from these end ships. So I think I'm going to do that instead. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. I need 24 of those. Then I need two stacks of building blocks, which I think I might just go ahead and do... Yeah, end stone bricks. I think that might work, actually. Let's use them for something, I guess. I also need nine stacks of leaves, so that's actually gonna be very handy because I want to remove more of these trees, so getting the leaves is actually gonna prove very useful. So keep a note of that. I also need 12 slabs, two rails, one minecart, six hoppers, two chests. Kind of surprised I don't have a water bucket, actually. Have I ever had a water bucket on this series? Well, I do now. Then I also need a name tag, which is why I wanted the name tag. So we will need to go and get string in a moment. And the next thing I need is 20-ish ender pearls. Should be easy enough. 10 down, 10 more to go. Maybe this is a chance for me to get rid of some of my, uh, well, neighbors. 23 ender pearls. And now all I need is the name tag, some carpet, and also the nine stacks of leaves. First stop, I think, is going to be this biome over here to see if we can actually get some of the string. And I will remember to equip my lights for this time. <laughs> I'm gonna set down right over here. And I believe what we're looking for... ...are a specific... Eh? That's a lantern. That, is there? Is that a house? No. I think this is just a random lamppost. Huh. I can verify that we are in fact in the right biome. So now we just gotta find a moth. At least I think that's what they're called. Well, I found another weird looking structure. Not sure. Whoa, there's more here. Where? That was a beehive sound. Did you hear that? Where did that come out of? Oh, right there. Huh, they do have nests. Silk moth nest. I assume if I... I don't want to break it though. Uh, okay, so I've done a little bit of testing and apparently these things act kinda, well, just like beehives in Minecraft, uh, except these are silk moths. So what you can actually do is you can actually make a hive for them right here. Though I do not know how you get this silk moth matrix, but there we go, there's a silk moth. Hey buddy. And, but, I do not know if this becomes harvestable at some point or not, but I will add a marker right here to let me know that these moths are here. Because if we could get, give them a silk bath hive and get them with us home, that would be pretty cool. So yeah, um, I will have to come back here, I think, because I do not want to kill these guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do I do need string in, in order to make what I need to do, so... 
Yeah, I don't, and I'm not sure what to do. But we know where they are. We will definitely come back for them, I think. Because, yeah, hives. They're cool. Um, but what I can do now is I can go over to this, uh, which is closest. Yeah, this one right here. And go to this airship. And I can. Woo! And go to this airship and get a bunch of wool. I guess it could make sense that you can craft string from wool itself. I might think about that. Alright, here we are. And there it is. Give me those shears. And I believe that this thing is not hollow either. So if I go right here, boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it does make sense that we can uh, make string out of wool because we can make banners and paintings. I think it just makes sense. And there we go. 64. A full stack. That's gonna do it, I think. I think I needed 24 carpets, that should be good. And I can fly back home. This tree has not yet decayed, so this is a perfect time for me to use my shears in order to get nine stacks of leaves. Plus it should be a pretty cool looking time lapse, so let's get right to it. Well, that is a lot of leaves. <laughs> I will not be needing this many, but what we can do is we can convert the ones that we don't need over to bone meal, which will then benefit us in the firework department. So that is going to be very cool, and I hope, yeah, that should decay on its own. And as I suspected, there was locks in the middle of the canopy that was hindering it from uh, decaying on its own. So yeah, that took care of that. So that is my nine stacks of leaves. This is then also the 24 carpet that I needed. And I have now made it so that you can actually craft string from the wool. I just think it makes sense that also string doesn't really have, at least I can't think of any uh, usage for it really, other than making a name tag. And the name tag, yeah, we're really only going to be using it for this instance, or if we get a pet. So I think in that case it is alright that the recipe is somewhat easy to make. So. Name tag, just like that. Perfect. And since string is very easy to get in the overworld as well because of, well, the spiders and cobwebs. But since we don't have that here, I feel like that is all right. And that should be everything, unless I've missed something, which I don't think I have. But that should be everything that I need in order to make this Enderman XP farm. Also, we're getting a lot of bone meal from that. That is very, very good. Now, while building this thing, I will have my elytra on. And in fact, I will take it on right now and I will keep firework rockets in my inventory so I can easily swap to them because... <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah. If I, if I fall off, bad things could happen. And the place to build it is, I believe, right here. All right, so I'm gonna build this thing. It's gonna be time lapse. So, yeah. Wait, am I floating? Yep, looks like I'm floating. I'm about one pixel off. <laughs> oh boy, that's a bit scary. Anyways, I'm gonna get started on building this thing. You enjoy the time lapse, and I'll see you when it's done. Let's get to work.
And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we now have an Enderman farm. This was actually not too difficult to make. And I'll say it's actually, yeah, pretty efficient. So if I can just land successfully right here. The only downside that I didn't know would actually happen are these guys are spawning. I don't remember what they're called. Rubble mite, I think it is. I think it's the rubble mite, but in general, I don't really mind. Um, they, they can't do much. <laughs> but yeah, so in here, here's the Enderman. Uh, I need to change this. I put slabs here. Um, I killed some of them, as you maybe saw in the time lapse, but I put some slabs here, hoping that it would hinder those weird uh, rubble mites to get in here. But uh, yeah, apparently it's blocking the XP from getting to me, so that's not good. But yeah, I can just stand here and kill them. Now, it is taking a little bit. This sword is not the best. We could get a sharpness 5 sword and also get sh uh, sweeping edge on it. Which would be obviously the most ideal thing to do. But it is. The, but the important thing is, there's a lot of Enderman on this, and it is working very well. When, of course, I get a proper sword for this. Ah, now they're starting to die. That's better. Much better. Now, of course, this is not a farm where they spawn and then they fall down, so they already have taken some damage, so you can just one hit them. This farm you actually have to click a few times before they actually take enough damage but i think that's fine for the simplicity of this farm i think that is quite all right and just by me talking there i gained yeah four levels and yeah i think it's working pretty well and of course the ender pearls get put into this chest right here for later use so i would call that a mission successful and yeah, those rubble mites are right there, but I don't think they're gonna be an issue. Now, I actually did start building this uh, at a different place than what I, uh, where I was standing when I started the time lapse. But that was mainly because this edge was further out than that one, so it only made sense to do it here. Um, but it is, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap between here and home. So maybe I'll need to make a path through the cave and then maybe make a bridge going over here or something like that with then some sort of elevator potentially maybe or something i don't know but i have discovered something i added some more leaves uh to the composting unit and i think these berries and if i keep taking leaves because i'll i'll need to get wood so i'll keep growing trees and then before chopping down the tree i can then remove the leaves and the leaves can be turned into bone meal i th don't think we're gonna get a firework issue anytime soon this is 32 bone meal right there that's pretty good. At this rate, paper is gonna be the issue. One thing is for certain though, food is not gonna be an issue anytime soon. I need to organize this a little bit more actually, my chests. And I did look in my weapons chest and unfortunately I do not have a sword that has, um, that has sweeping edge. So I might be able to combine, I think there was, yeah, this one has knocked back to sharpness four and mending. I could combine that with this and get a sharpness five book. Uh, with mending as well. Did I say book? That's obviously not what I meant. <laughs> 11 levels for sharpness 5, knock back 2, mending and unbreaking 3. That's not a bad combination. Would make killing those things that much quicker and plus it then has mending. So I think I'm gonna go for that actually. Speaking of berries, these are pretty much already grown, ready to yet another harvest. And at this point we could just take this harvest and convert it all into bone meal because I don't need that many berries right now. So yeah, this, this is gonna be our bone meal source, which I did not expect. Now I do want to just quickly check on the farms because, oh yeah, it has grown. <laughs> it has grown quite a bit because I've been spending time building that farm. And did that just break? Was this not fully? Oh, some of it was not fully grown. That makes sense. This is not fully grown. This is this is fully grown. There we go. <laughs> I was worried there for a moment. I was like, what is going on here? Might as well do a little bit of harvesting since we've spent a lot of time getting this farm to look this nice. A lot of end lilies which are going to be perfect for making more paper for the fireworks. And the cool thing about these is you don't need to reseed them once you have already harvested once you have already planted them. They're just ready to go. That's a stack of three. That's a lot. I can make an end lotus log using four of these lotus stems. And then I can burn that log to get charcoal. Huh. Well, let's see how many of these lotus stems I've actually got to get from this farm. 
And what is actually a really cool side effect, because they bake these leaves, I can use these leaves as platforms to be able to chop down these way easier. <laughs> this is perfect. It would appear that I can't even chop them down fast enough before the next ones start growing. That's pretty cool. Then I just gotta replant them. And with that, we got two stacks and seven end loads of stems. Not bad at all. I'm very happy with how this farm has turned out. Question is, how is the cave looking? Ooh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. How do you have these? There we go. Now what you use these loom cones for are pretty much chandeliers, so maybe we'll make some in the next episode. We of course have the lance leaf and we have the pillar uh, pillar leaves as well, which is really cool. And we have this, the cave pumpkin. Which we could use to get even more cave pumpkin seeds to place down and grow even more. This is turning out very well. But guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I think I want to, if possible, enchant the crystallite armor. Because I think it would be very cool if we could start wearing that instead of our diamond armor. So I think that should probably be a goal. I also would like to craft a bunch more fireworks. Maybe get some sort of tree farm going, chopping down some more of the big trees. And start adding a bridge over to that uh, open area where I'm chopping the trees. I think that would be an idea. Or all improving the area around the base and maybe getting a silk touch pickaxe as well so I can start using using the ender chest as like a backpack for like using the shulker boxes and whatnot. I think that would be a good idea as well. Oh yeah. This is nice. But guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing and enabling those notifications. I also want to shout out my second channel. I have recently started a new series over there with the game Farming Simulator. So if that game interests you, I highly recommend that you check that out. I'm really enjoying that series. And seeing you over there would be absolutely amazing. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and... Goodbye.